Proclamation declaring National Donate Life Month. All right. Well, uh, commissioners, I do have a uh, proclamation I would like to read. Um, this is regarding Donate Life Month. And um, let me go ahead and read this first. It says, whereas Sedgwick County, Kansas, supports Donate Life America's vision to be a community that embraces donation as a fundamental human responsibility, and whereas Donate Life Kansas is a collaborative team consisting of professional partner organizations connected to the donation and transplant communities with a goal to make life possible by educating and motivating individuals to register the decision to be organ, eye, and tissue donors. And, whereas 60% of adults in Kansas have joined the Kansas Donor Registry, and Kansas was nationally recognized for the largest annual donor, rec uh, donor designation rate increase during 2015, and whereas, despite a record number of 30,000 organ transplants, 1 million tissue transplants, and 48,000 gifts of sight, helping to save or enhance lives in 2015, the number in need of life-saving transplants has grown to 125,000 Americans. This insurmountable gap can only be narrowed with, with more people registering to give the gift of life and sight. And whereas organ, eye, and tissue donor, donors are life donors, Donate Life Kansas encourages all residents to make life possible by registering your donation decision at www.donatelifekansas.com and reaffirming this decision when obtaining or renewing your driver's license by saying, yes, I want to be a donor. Now, therefore, we be it resolved that I, Jim Howell, Chairman of the Board of County Commissioners, do hereby proclaim April the 16th as National Donate Life Month in Sedgwick County, and I call this observance to the attention of all our citizens. Commissioners, what's the will of the board? I move we adopt the proclamation. Second. Right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, All right, motion passes. Um, I'd like to present this to uh, our clerk to give to James Verbeckmos. Are you here today? All right, James, come up, up to the podium. If you have uh, anything you have to say to us this morning about this. Sure. Good morning, Commissioners. My name is Jason Verbeckmos. Um, I am uh, CEO of the Kansas Eye Bank, um, and, uh, and thank you for, for adopting the proclamation. Just a couple comments here. Um, Donate Life Kansas is a uh, member organization that, that includes many partner organizations, including Kansas Eye Bank, uh, Midwest Transplant Network, and uh, the National Kidney Foundation. Some of the representatives are here in the audience with you today. Um, one organ donor can save the lives of up to eight people, restore sight to two people through cornea donation, and heal countless others through tissue donation. In Kansas, there are more than 600 residents waiting for a life-saving transplant and many more waiting for tissue and corneal transplants. Uh, currently, 61% of the adults in Kansas have made the decision to give the gift of life through uh, donation by joining the Kansas Donor Registry, either online or through the local driver's license office. Uh, many more are waiting for transplant. Um, as Americans wait for transplant, the lack of available organs, uh, some will never receive that call. In fact, 22 people die every day while waiting on the, on the national list. You can make a difference. You can register your life, uh, your decision to make life possible and be an organ tissue or eye donor at, Kansas, at DonateLifeKansas.com. Well, I do appreciate you taking the time for this this morning. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for, uh, for present, uh, presenting that information. I could just say a couple of things. Um, how, do they, how does someone know if they've already volunteered to be a donor? Do they, can they, is there some way they can check that? Can they call this? Absolutely. You can go to DonateLifeKansas.com. Um, all the information is there. It, uh, once you register, you can't re-register. You're just on that list. You can, you can go back and, and change your wishes, though. DonateLifeKansas.com is, uh, is a great place to do that because there you can make decisions uh, based on, on what you'd like to donate. For example, if you want to be an organ donor but not an eye donor, you can make those decisions. That's left to the person um, to, make, to make their own individual decisions. But we, we, do, uh, we do strongly advocate that people make that decision so that it's not left to your family um, to make decisions after, after a person passes. Yeah, that certainly is a tough time to make decisions, so it's nice to have that out of the way. But, you know, I, um, my wife and I have, have debated over the years about whether the, I, I should do this or not, and I was kind of reluctant to do it, and finally I did talk myself into it. So on your driver's license, 
it says donate life. It's actually, it says organ donor right there on my driver's right. license. Right. So if somebody wants my cold Republican heart, you can have it mm -hmm. when I'm gone. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. You can have my, my cold Republican heart. But anyway, they can do it that way, or they can, again, go to the website, and they can do it that way. So either way, it works just fine, right? Absolutely, yes. Uh, so well, renew, once, a person, yes once a person donate, or once a person makes that decision on their driver's license, that is then accounted <laughs> for in the donor registry. There you go. All right. I'd like to just highlight one more thing. Again, my our, our great county treasurer, Linda Kazire, brought this to my attention. Did you? I've never actually seen this before, but we have a license plate in Kansas that if you really want to support to donate life, there's one thing you can do. Uh, when you go get your tag, um, just request this license plate. Anybody can get it. It does cost $40, a one-time mm -hmm. fee, and uh, that's just because it's a, a specialized plate. So that specialized plate costs $40 to get the, actually get the, plate at one, mm -hmm. uh, get the plate made for you. But then there's an annual fee of $40, and that $40 every year goes to the organization um, let's see, it's called, uh, goes to Midwest Transplant Network. Right. That's where it goes to. And there's the standard fees like 550 for just your regular, regular county business that, that would have, you know, be charged anyway or your sales tax or whatever it is that you're having to pay there. So but the, the extra cost, again, is $40 one time and then $40 per year. If you'd like to donate, uh, donate to wife, this is a really easy way to do that. And so I know Linda Kazire's mom actually would be blind right now if it wasn't for organ, organ donation. She received two cornea transplants in her lifetime and she can and she's able to get around and, and have a very very uh, wonderful life right now as a result of organ do, uh, donation so i know linda kazire is a big fan of this and she wanted to highlight this with this plate so she is also in the audience today thank you for being here uh to our treasurer linda kazire um anyway congratulations jason we'll give you a hand of applause thank you for being here today. thank you i appreciate it all right i have someone in the audience has their hand raised Please come to the microphone and state your name and address real quickly for us. All right. Yes, my name is Angie Lewis, and I'm an ambassador for the Midwest Transplant Network. And you were talking about the license plate. That $40 when you get the license plate, yes, it does go to the Midwest Transplant Network, but it is also you can get a receipt, and it is tax deductible. That was that actually on my list of things to mention. I'm sorry I didn't mention that. It's, it is a it is tax deductible gift. So every time you pay that forty dollars, it's yes, it's it is a tax deductible item. That's great. So yes, I'm looking at my notes here. That is all the notes I've got here. So that's great. Thank you for yes. that reminder. <laughs>